Hello and welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. This is my Eurovision 2024 semi-final one predictions. Please do click the subscribe button, ring that notification bell and like, share and comment below. Now, of course, we finished my top 37 countdown. Please do, of course, have a browse of that if you haven't looked through the videos already. Um, but we're now, I'm now recording this um, just as the uh, second of the dress rehearsals uh, for semi-final one are about to start. Uh, and this is, in fact, the first uh, run through where there will be a um, an audience, or a full kind of ticketed audience with all the fans in. So um, now, what I do with these is just to make a vain attempt to talk through who I think, not based on my personal preference, but judging from obviously just from what we know about the songs, but also how the rehearsals have been going, because we've had quite a bit of rehearsal uh, information out about where things might be going. Um, and then we can see how wrong I am when we have a review of the results uh, come Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Um, so if we just have a, a quick look at the running order of the uh, semi-final one, it is quite heavily weighted, I would say, in favour of the um, uh, the first half of the um, the first half of the show, uh, with some of the favourites sitting in there. But we have Cyprus that uh, kick off the semi-final. They kick off all of Eurovision 2024, and closing this semi-final, we have Luxembourg, who are making their return to Eurovision after over. 30 years of absence. Now, not included in this listing, but what will form part of the show will be the presence of three of the automatic qualifiers. So uh, United Kingdom, Germany and Sweden will all be performing live in this semi-final. And so they've been rehearsing uh, at the same time as uh, all the other um, competitors in semi-final one, but of course will not uh, be part of the voting. Um, now, Let's go first with who I think, and I'll go through the kind of um, listing the qualifiers by kind of as I work through the running order. Uh, I think in terms of I'm going to look at who the definite qualifiers are here. Remember, ten songs qualify, five songs do not. So of my definite qualifiers, I think we have Lithuania. I think it's a very strong song, and the diaspora and the vote the country we've got voting means this is almost certain to go through. Ireland, this has been one of the big sort of glow ups of the rehearsals. It's had, uh, you know, it's suddenly shooting up in uh, the betting, uh, not just to qualify, but also to win overall, such has the impact of the uh, staging and the performance been. So I think they are certain to go through. Ukraine, of course, uh, I don't think we need to really discuss that much. I put Ukraine's put in another wonderful performance. They are and they are definitely contenders for the overall win. Croatia, they are continuing to rise in the betting at the moment uh, to win. I don't think there is any doubt that they will go through. And finally from the and those of you will know they were all first half songs. The song from the second half that I am certain will go through, and I know this will disappoint some Euro fans because they don't like it very much, will be Finland. And Finland comes in a good place in the running order for it as well because it's had a few sort of less mid songs and then suddenly it comes to life with, um, you know, this very fun song, very lively song. So they will be going through. So that's five. Now I have on the other side, I think I'm afraid there are probably three songs that are definitely not qualifying. And those are Iceland, uh, it's just, the song is too dated, the staging is too simple, Hera is wonderful, but this just isn't going to be the year. Moldova, again, it's not a, that memorable song. Moldova can often elevate, they don't have the money to elevate at this time, I'm afraid. And the other one that I'm having now seen the semi, uh, seen some of the rehearsals that I'm afraid I don't think will go through is Azerbaijan. They haven't really made the most of the fact that they're bringing kind of Azerbaijani cultural music in for the first one of the first times saying they've not really made the most of that and uh, Fari's live vocals are a bit have, have not been brilliant so I think those are the three that will not be definitely not going through then there are th three further songs that I think are uh, likely are likely qualifiers I'm not 100% certain but I would say they are likely qualifiers at this stage uh, they are Poland now, Poland's rehearsals have not been great vocally. However, 
I think it's interesting staging and there is a lot of diaspora slash neighbours that will vote for Poland in this and I think that will be enough to get uh, Poland uh, into the top 10. Uh, Portugal, beautifully staged, really impactful staging. It's in a great place in the running order. Uh, although Portugal doesn't have that many voting allies necessarily, Luxembourg being is actually probably going to be a voting ally because of, there's a large Portuguese population in Luxembourg. Um, but I think there's just enough quality here that this will be enough to uh, put Portugal into the final. Uh, and lastly, it's the one that's come back after all these years, Luxembourg. Um, I think, again, closing the show, uh, there's a lot of things in favour of this qualifying. I think in the rehearsals, Tally gets interviewed during voting secrets, again, which reminds you that Luxembourg has come back to the contest. So I think that may be enough to help Luxembourg over the line. So those three are likely, but not absolutely certain. And then that leaves us with... Um, uh, the borderlines and there's two songs of these will go through and two songs will not go and so they are Ser Cyprus, Serbia from the first half, Slovenia and Australia from the second half. Now in order for this to work uh, one from the at least one from the first half has to not qualify because otherwise every song in the hard first half would, would qualify if I said Cyprus and Serbia were going to go through. I just cannot see that happening. Also, I, also, the first four songs, you've never had a situation where all four have qualified. So something's going to give. Um, now, I think some of the rehearsals might make me question whether I'm going to <laughs> question this, but I'm going to at the moment put Cyprus as a non-qualifier and Serbia as the qualifier, because I think Serbia has a better base of... Um, has perhaps a better base of uh, neighbour voting or diaspora voting. Cyprus does have a, you know, it does have some also some allies there as well, um, but I just think I just think Cyprus is more likely to get forgotten at the moment. But it's such fifty fifty at the moment. So, and then the other two I am going to put at the moment. I'm going to probably slip Australia into qualifying and to Slovenia into non qualifying but they again could very easily swap around. I think Australia will have some support from some of the countries like UK, Ireland, Sweden. Uh, of course, Slovenia gets Croatia and uh, Serbia, but I think when you kind of then top up some of the other countries, Australia might just have the edge, it brings the didgeridoo, and I think Slovenia might get a bit overshadowed by Ireland uh, and also Portugal maybe. However, with these last four, you could perhaps make a case for swapping them them round and I'm really you know you know because this time tomorrow morning or come tomorrow morning I might be thinking something completely differently <laughs> so that's not who I necessarily want to get through to the grand final uh, that's just where I think I see things at the moment but it is quite interesting this this semi-final I think there is it's there's a lot more opportunity I think there's a although it's a tougher semi-final meant to be a tougher semi-final more favourites in it uh, there are also more opportunities because there's a bunch of songs that could go either way. And I think that's still the case at the moment. But what do you think? Um, do let me know in the comments. And of course, I'll be back uh, in just over 24 hours or 36 hours if I do it on Wednesday morning about how uh, those predictions went and who's gone through and also just how the show goes as well. I'm sure we'll be in for a treat. Lots of Eurovision stars from the past are appearing in the show. So I think we'll all have, uh, we'll all enjoy it. But we'll see you very soon. Take care.